Hey guys, it's Zia. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm just gonna do a get ready with me. Um, I'm just going for really simple makeup. I'm gonna, I can't even talk. I'm gonna be using my Makeup Forever, what is this called? Matte Velvet Skin uh, Powder Foundation. Since I'm using a um, powder foundation, I'm not gonna prime the same way because I don't feel like it works as well. Plus, smoothing on the powder foundation, I'm afraid it would um, move around too much of the primer. I am, however, going to take a little bit of this e.l.f. Poreless Pretty Primer. Did I say that right? I think so. I'm not going to try to do it again because I'll probably just get worse. But yeah, taking some of this primer, not a lot, just on the areas where I feel like I have really large pores, which is definitely in this area on my cheek for sure. And around my nose. I'm not going to put it on my nose because my nose gets super, super oily. And this stuff isn't mattifying, so I'm worried that it would um, cause my oil on my nose to get even worse. Those are the areas with the biggest pores. Next, I'm going to move on to concealer. And for my concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in, this, in, this, in the shade 22B Light Beige. I usually use light sand, um, but I did go to Ulta and picked up a darker shade. Sometimes I feel like when I wear my light sand one, it looks so light to the point where my under eyes look a little old. I'm just applying concealer first because of the powder foundation situation. Usually when I use powder foundation, I don't really go into doing a full face because I use powder foundation so that I don't have to do so much. It's just a lot less work, just looks really natural. But today I'm going for more of a full coverage powder foundation look. Oh yeah, this is a good color. It's not too light. The other one is quite a bit lighter. Next I'm going to use my airspun powder to set my concealer in place. Well that's bright. Okay. <laughs> so actually going to dust the majority of this away because I don't need it to sit on there very long. Just going to gently, very gently pat it away, looking more and more natural. Now I'm going to move on to my foundation. In case you haven't heard about this, uh, when you use the sponge for this foundation, foundation, uh, you use the black side for full coverage and the white side for more of a natural coverage. Since I'm going for a full face, I'm going to use the full coverage portion of the sponge. Even using this as a full coverage powder, it still looks really natural. Like it doesn't look overdone, it doesn't look cakey. What is next? Oh, okay. Brows. I'm going to do my brows off camera because that's going to take some time. Brows are on. I am back. I don't know what's going on with my brows. Every time I try to do them, this one comes out really good. This one just isn't. I think I have to like actually groom them a bit and change how they sit. I don't know. I'm going to pl prime, prime my eyelids using the NYX eyeshadow base uh, in shade 3. I'm going to take the color S'more, the lightest shade here. I use this to set my what you call it? What is this called? Eyeshadow base. I keep forgetting words. I'm going to add a little bit more powder underneath my eyes just in case I get a bit of fallout. The reason why I don't do my eyeshadow first is simply because I'm not good at that. I'm going to start off with cashmere. That's this really pretty pe peachy shade here. One downside about this found not foundation, eyeshadow, is that it can be very, very, very powdery. Next, I'm going to take some Warmth, such a pretty shade, probably my favorite shade in this palette. I'm going to take that into the crease as well, just not taking it as high up as I took Cashmere. I always forget how much I love the shades in this palette. I don't use it nearly as much as I should. It's so good. It smells nice too. I recently started watching Jane the Virgin. It is so good. It's such a great show. When I first heard about it, I really wanted to watch it, but I never got a chance. So now I think this, the show is completely over after five seasons and I'm starting right from the beginning. So it's going to take me a while to get through this show. All right, the next color I'm going to add in is Latte. I'm staying with lighter colors right now because I don't really want to go too dark on my lids today. 
warmth got covered up a little bit. So I'm just adding a little bit more of that. I'm going to take a little bit of Cozy. i add that right on the outer corner. I'll take some candle. I'm going to add that onto my lid. Just to have a light wash of it on there. Kind of brighten things up. I'm going to put it on the whole lid up until the area where uh, Cozy starts. And I'm adding a little bit more cozy into the outer corner just to make sure that it is at the intensity that I want. Okay. I was like, oh, I'm gonna stay natural. I'm gonna stay so natural. Yeah, I didn't do that. Obviously, having glitter on your eyeballs is not natural. I'm actually going to take a little bit of cashmere again and I'm gonna put that over candle because I went a little overboard and I'm trying to tone it down again. Now to move on to the lower lash line. For the lower lash line, I'm going to first go in with cashmere. And now I'm going to take some warmth. I'm applying that on the outer like three quarters of my eye. So basically the whole thing, just not the inner corner. And I'm going to take a little bit of fire. What's that? Fire side. That's the darkest shade in this palette. I'm going to just take a tiny little bit of that right on the outer corner, the top and bottom. That just adds like the perfect amount of depth and a little bit of lift too. If it's applied correctly, I'm going to take a tiny little bit of Cozy and I'm going to use that to blend the edges of uh, Fireside a little bit. Just so it doesn't look so harsh from one color to another. Time to dust away the powder again. <laughs> I'm really happy with this so far. It looks pretty good. Next it's time to go on to contour. So. As for usual, Kat Von D shade and like contour palette, like I use anything else. I think I'm also going to add some bronzer today. Maybe, we'll see. Sorry if the lighting's kind of gloomy. I didn't really realize that until now. Um, quite foggy outside. Gonna take a little bit of the deep shade, just using that on the outer perimeter of my double chin here. I have gotten so dark, I don't understand why, because I'm usually pretty covered up when I go out. Next, I'm gonna take some of the banana shade in the center and use that to cut below my contour. I do this just to make sure I can clean it up a bit because it looks a little unfinished or a little sloppy um, when I don't do this. So I just like the effect better. On to nose contour. So I'm gonna take the light shade and I'm gonna use that to contour my nose. And applying it right here. Next, I'm going to do my liner and lashes and do that off camera. Right, the lashes are on and now we're going to dust away the baking. Looking good. Really happy with this look today. I think it has worked out quite well. Now on to blush and for my first blush, because I'm going to be putting on a few today, just to kind of help sculpt everything. So first I have the Wen Wild Color Icon Blush in the color Mellow Wine. I've had this for a very long time and um, it's probably expired. But I love it so much. Oh, so good. Such a good blush. And pigmentation is good. Lasting power is really good. 
Sorry, I'm blocking you guys off. You can't see anything. Um, but it's really great. Really great stuff. I would suggest buying it, but I did hear that uh, Wet n Wild isn't cruelty free anymore. Um, I don't know if that's completely true or not, but until I have more information about it, I'll hold off on buying, it, buying anything else from Wet n Wild. Next, I have the Milani blush. This is in the shade T Rose. This one is really, really peachy and somehow kind of luminous. I don't understand how um, because it doesn't look like there's anything in it, but it, it just looks really, really nice. Using two different shades of blush adds more dimension, which is why I am doing so. And on to the Laura Geller Blush and Brighten in the shade Pink Grapefruit. This stuff is so nice. It's this very shimmery blush slash blush topper. Now onto the highlighter. I'm going to use Mary Luminizer first. I use multiple highlighters. Oh, I forgot to put blush on my nose. I'll do that later. I'm going to take a smaller brush and use that to highlight my cupid's bow and my nose. The inner corner. And my brow bone. Next, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Um, Heart Defensor Highlighter Duo. I'm applying that right in the center. Not as much as um, Mary Luminizer because this is more of a detailing highlight. <laughs> and a little tiny bit on the nose. Cupid's bow, of course. Inner corners and brow bones. I'm gonna go back into the peach blush, tap this out a lot, and this is what I'm gonna apply to the nose. I know some people don't like it, but I think it's really cute. Um, oh, and I'm gonna take Flexitarian. I'm gonna try putting this on with my pinky. I'm not really good at it, but I have shortened my nails a little bit, so we'll see if I can get into the inner corners a little bit easier this time. Still really hard. My nails are still long and it's very bright. So I think we're gonna stop there with the inner corner highlight. Next, I'm going to apply some of this Maybelline Dark Brown Mascara to my brows. It works really well for brows. You just gotta be careful because if you add too much at once, it mats down the brows, it doesn't help them very much. So, gotta do this with a very light hand. Time for our lower lash mascara, if I can find it. Found it. Did I put mascara on the... No, I did not. Mascara on my upper lashes. I totally forgot about doing that. Did I? Yes, I did. I think I did. I can't tell, to be honest. And I don't remember. Is there anything else? I feel like I'm forgetting something other than my lips. But I think my lips are the last part. So, on to lips. I have this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in the color Bear to Comment. And I'm just gonna use this to line my lips and fill it in a little bit. Next, I'm going to apply my e.l.f. Perfect Pink Lipstick. This stuff, I just, I love it. I can't get over it. And I'm gonna use this ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss. Still not one of my favorite glosses because of how sticky it is, but I have it, so I use it. And that's my lips. As my hair is done, I love it. It's so cute. I really like having pink lips with pink hair. Um, well, it's like magenta, but you know what I mean. It's like a hot pink kind of... I don't even know what color this is at this point. Um, it started off red. This is what it turned into, but th that's a really cool color for it to fade to, right? So, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with... Oh my goodness. Let me just cover up my hands real quick because like I said, I've been getting beat by the sun so much. <laughs> uh, 
Mm. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I put out new videos every week, so if you guys stick around to see those, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.